Okay, let's start. Yeah. We are here from Rosebot TV, standing with Eve. You can introduce yourself a bit. Yes, yeah, sure. Uh, my name is uh, Yves Bleau and I've been uh, working with Gravity Europe for uh, a bit more than two years. I'm the CEO of this company and uh, I did all my career in the video game business as, uh, as I was one of the first uh, employee and, uh, and uh, managers of uh, Infogram uh, Atari in the 80s and 90s. So it's been uh, uh, more than 25 years in this <laughs> crazy and fantastic uh, video game industry that now is moving towards uh, uh, online online business. That's great. And uh, you have told us yesterday you just started without a passion. It was just a, a job for you at the first time? Yeah, it was, it was like a kind of a, a, a fate, I would say, okay. where, where you push a door, where there is an amazing person that is sitting on the, on the desk, has a, a vision of the video game industry for the next 20, 30 years. And I was lucky to work with this person, Bruno, Bruno Bonnell, who was a great, uh, a great uh, I would say, uh, advocate of all the uh, evangelists for, for mm -hmm. the video game industry so it's a, but it became kind of passion because passion is for me the people who are playing in the online games the communities and the social aspect of it which is now more and more important okay um you're playing is a good point have you ever played record online I, I tried i'm more i have to admit that i'm more adventure than rpg mm -hmm. So uh, I'm more comf comfortable with the uh, with the more the classic uh, adventure gameplay than the uh, than the RPG. You can see me sometime on the, on the game, but I'm a very bad player. I'm, okay. I'm not. I'm not. I cannot tell myself at that time. Uh, uh, I'm more working uh, on the uh, extreme part to make sure that we can deliver the right content to the the players and really being in the game. And I have people here okay. that that do that for me much much better than I can do. good motivation because uh, I think that Ragnarok brought so many features that are still very much up to date oh, yes. uh, that, that I think that to have all of those new games that can bring something different like to have direct access to maps to, to be able to move more quickly and to have maybe some PvP system that are uh, a little bit more uh, you know uh, advanced at what we do is, is, is also a good challenge to then to compensate with more more content because the beauty of Ragnarok, as you know, is yeah. is uh, the, the fantastic universe that we bring to the, the players. It is, yeah. Ragnarok Online 2 is clearly bringing a new dimension to yeah. Ragnarok, the Ragnarok universe. It clearly doesn't, you know, uh, it's not like, oh, because you played the one, now you have the second, you don't play yeah. the first one. Ragnarok 2 is bringing something different. First, the 3D aspect, the full 3D aspect, is clearly something that some players like, some players don't don't like or li like a different way. Uh, want to like in the and, future. <laughs> yeah, and and as you know, Ragnarok 2 is a, is is a long, long way to come because Ragnarok 1 is now is more than 10 years of life. Ragnarok 2 will be also the same. So we will need. I mean, what we will need from the players is really. A, uh, honest and, um, and they are always very honest and very blunt in bringing some feedback on what they want, uh, how they want it. Mm -hmm. And I think beside the structure of the universe of Ragnarok 2, what's important also what we will put in it to the content that we'll bring. Mm -hmm. And and uh, and the German German players are clearly a key part of our strategy for to make sure that we can bring great content for Ragnarok 2 because so far, this is our biggest community, and uh, and uh, and we respect that very much. Great, yeah. well, thanks for that. Set. <laughs> <laughs> um, to take a step back, um, how was your first contact with Ragnarok Online? My first contact was actually it's it's a very good question. Uh, we we didn't talk about that earlier. Uh, it was in 2007 when uh, Gravity Europe launched the French version. Mm -hmm. uh, at that time I was at Atari and I was the managing director of Atari and uh, Gravity Europe asked me to do a client-based product, a box uh, product. Okay. Therefore I did a deal with, uh, with Gravity Europe as a distributor for them. Yeah. Okay. That was my first, uh, uh, my first uh, I would say, uh, contact with Ragnarok. And actually, in 2007, online was still very in the very early days, so it was something a bit mysterious uh, for me. Yes. And it was subscription-based, if you remember, in 2007. It was not uh, freemium. 
so that was my first contact and I had the opportunity to meet the people at Gravity in Korea several times since then and uh, build some great relationship with uh, those uh, great uh, developers. It's been a challenge because there was already uh, the English version, the German version was out there. So it was al already a lot of French players were playing uh, on, those, uh, on, the, on those sites. Although, also, also, as you know, there is a few private servers that uh, developed a lot of, a lot of, a lot of versions of Ragnarok. Yeah. So we, we, it was a, it always been a, a, a fight to make sure we had... We have a decent community of, of French players and, uh, and I know that they also playing... There are some interesting PvP with German, mm -hmm. uh, German guilds and stuff like that. So <laughs> it's an, it's an interesting, interesting community to, to deal with. But uh, the community is now, uh, nowadays, I guess, mixed up. It's not the French part, the German part. It's mixed up. Yeah. We are two years on the same server now. And I guess yeah, yeah. It's, it's it's every, everyone on the same server. Uh, I'm not sure about the, 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 the guild. I think people like to, of course, to communicate in their own language if possible. Yeah. So naturally, they will probably, uh, you know, if I'm German, I'm going to mm -hmm. try to find fellow fellow players uh, in Germany rather than in France but you you have also some other people like the international part of a server yeah. so I think you can have both of them I would say that for a game like like Ragnarok uh, because it's a, it's a it's a hardcore RPG and it's complex you probably want to in interact with people who we understand exactly what, what you're talking about from a social perspective as well from a gameplay perspective. You, you have to, in order to, to build up a character from level 1 to level 150 and it's upcoming content to 160 and so on. Exactly. Okay. That's true. Uh, some people thought that you killed Boda, um, you <laughs> adapted the, the rights uh, of the Europe version. They yeah, not understand it's that Boda gave, gave up in, in yeah, actually, the the reason uh, Berda did not uh, carry on is that uh, there was there was a contract between Gravity Korea and uh, and the Berda, and uh, uh, at the end of the contract there was no further agreement between the two companies to continue the uh, the, the partnership. Uh, that's why we took back the rights for Germany, uh, and it took time to build the the the, the game back where it was at the time of Berda, in addition adding also the freemium part and all this type of thing. So yeah, yeah there was a gap that, uh, and, and we can only apologize to the players because I know it's always frustrating not to have a kind of a, a, a smooth transition between one partner or one publisher to another publisher yeah. and, the, and the people who suffer are the players, although we suffer also because we cannot, uh, of course, uh, you know, manage the company we would like to do with uh, with uh, with this new version. But uh, now I think it's back. It's back on track. Yeah. It took time. Okay. It means that we still have some players to to get uh, to get back because uh, they need to know that uh, Ragnarok is very very much alive. It's cool. never been never been so successful in ten years. Uh, it's it's a number one game in, in Asia. It's ahead of uh, World of Warcraft. Uh, so content, but we need their their feedback for the content. Yeah. That's very important. Just to give you an answer, I think we have at least three year, three year of versions and contents that we can provide. That needs of thought it's existing already from it coming from Asia, okay. and it takes a lot of time to develop the European uh, uh, version of it. So I would say that we can talk more about that two or three years from now. Uh, okay. We'll have another interview, or every year I'll be happy to update you on the on this. But we have already. Uh, uh, version 14.1 coming, uh, I think, uh, end of May, something like that, or early May. We are already planning the f version 15, so we're going to catch up with our, 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 uh, our friends at, uh, in Korea and Japan. And with that, it's more maps, it's more, uh, more uh, items, it's more, thing, more, more content, so they, they, they don't have to be worried about that. When Ragnarok 2 is out, Ragnarok 1 will be, be very, very alive, and I hope that also because players can play both with the same money, with the same virtual okay. currency, okay. Yeah. then they can switch They can switch their car, they can go from one place to another, one game to another, very, very easily. Uh, so that's, that's, I think, a, a feature that will uh, make, we want to make sure that the player understand that it's not because you're playing R2 that you 
we we're going to let that R1 uh, down on the contrary. On the contrary. That's a great point there. I guess the community will love that because some of them are afraid if Ragnar right 2 is out, they, they, you can no. lose the, the older game one. I'm also not so familiar with the 3DJ games, so um, I love the old Ragnar right flair. Yeah, and um, yeah. No, no, it's, it's, it's clearly, you raise a good point. I think uh, Ragnar, Ragnarok will have to prove it can be a 3D game because the mechanics, as you know, the gameplay of a 3D game is so different. I remember in the early 90s when, the, for example, Infogram came out with Alone in the Dark, who was the first 3D environment, 3D player in an in a, in a isometric 2D uh, universe. Uh, it was totally revolutionary at the same time that Doom came out and also Seventh Guest, if you're, if you're, if you're familiar with all yeah. these old games. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And really the 3D changed totally the, 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 the atmosphere, the emotion that players can yeah. have when they yeah. play a game. So for Ragnarok 2, the challenge will be to keep the same flavor than Ragnarok 1 and bringing an additional emotion because the players, will be, the avatars will be more realistic more, more what they want because the, 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 the details will be better and things like that. And of course the move will be so different. So it will be, a, I think, a great experience. And, and as you know, uh, an online game is always evolving. So if there are sure. things that are good, then we'll improve them. There are things that are not that good because players don't like it, then we can adjust. So again, mm -hmm. beta, the beta testing is going to be important. The feedback will be important in this, in this regard. Testing is a good point. Um, can you imagine when when you will launch right now online? Online. So what we do first, uh, because uh, uh, because of, of uh, the way uh, our uh, partner Gravity Korea is managing the launch mm -hmm. in, in all over the world, it's big, big, big uh, endeavor, big efforts. We will start with the English version. Okay. And for everyone in Europe, and we're going to manage this with our friends in in, in the US. So. We want to make sure that the European player can play in a safe environment at the same time that the American players. So it will be everyone will be able to play on the US servers to start and it will okay. be one month from now, pretty much. And the beta testing is already uh, going to happen uh, starting, I think, April, I think around the 15th of yeah. April. Yeah. So I have to check with my, my it's changing sometime, we adjust our, our timing. Okay. So if they can already register on the uh, on the uh, on the uh, portal from uh, Gravity US, which is called the Warp Warp Portal, uh, and um, and they can and I'm sure they will find also more information on your website that we we'll provide to you, sure. uh, so that uh, people know what to do uh, from from there. When we come out with the German and the French version and maybe other versions next year or. Uh, I hope that we'll have it at the end of the year, but I, I would like to, I want to be prudent here. So it's probably, probably more next year. Then people will decide, either they get, they get their, their, the whole uh, character transferred to the European server, because they want to play in German, they want to play in France, in French, you want to play in Italian or Turkish, whatever, then they can do it. Mm -hmm. or, or if they have really built great guilds in the US and they want to keep their the, 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 the guild with American players, whatever, then they have the choice to, to do it. So we will not force them to, to go back to the European server. Okay. We'd love to, because yeah. I think it's sure. great to build the, the European server. At the same time, it's really up to the player and we have to prove ourselves we can do a great job in Europe so that they, they, they come back they come back to, to us. But now you, uh, the player has the chance to learn right now, and then you have the chance to learn on the different server and then you will set up a localized version here in Europe? Yes. Okay, it's great. And it, it will allow us also to learn from what this learning period, which is kind of a real beta testing for six, nine months. Mm -hmm. uh, beta testing being the real game, it's a commercial launch, it's not only uh, uh, like that and so therefore we will be able to propose a very evol evolved version of Ragnarok 2 next year which will be at the same level than the US version so it will be not like oh again we're behind the, f the other guys no <laughs> we will be at the same level as the other guys yeah it's like the start of Ragnarok 1 in 2004 I, yeah. I guess yeah from, from uh, exactly from Berlin yeah yeah the international Germany. version uh, launched here in Europe yes but now we are not uh, behind the versions. Exactly. Okay. That, this is this is one of the main reasons we we take the uh, uh, the chance to launch the English version at the same time than the US. We don't want to to uh, 
to have our European players uh, and, uh, and being frustrated with a, an older version than the other people. There is no reason. We are we are big, big, big territory. Europe is a big territory. Germany is a big country. We need we need to deliver the the, the, the content at the same time. There are a lot of pen projects around Wagner 101, but also on Wagner 102. Um, can you encourage them to, to keep on their work? Do you like the community work? Do you, you, are, uh, you are told us um, you are hearing on the feedback? Yes. Um, and do you like the community work? Do you think I, I, I like it. I think it's not enough. Okay. Uh, I think we need more, more feedback. I think also mm -hmm. we need to do also a better job at that. I believe that the uh, the, the, the site that we manage is a, clearly a, a, a fantastic opportunity to build a, a better link with mm -hmm. our, our players from it, uh, directly. So uh, the job of uh, our spot is going to be important in this regard. Uh, and uh, yeah, no, no, it's uh, we, you know we're just starting uh, to try to, to, to bring more more information to you to you guys and to the players. Uh, Partnership is quite natural. I mean, yeah. we need to find the, 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 the way we want to, to, uh, to work together. But basically, all the initiatives that are toward the players, I, we want to be part of it. I think in the past, we probably uh, didn't have maybe the, 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 the view, the overall view of what we could do. I think today we have a small team in Paris with a, a small team also in Germany. And we want more, more German players and more German community involved. So we need to build more of this and, and build the, the links. You know, we can we cannot deliver everything. We have to, as you know, we're not developing ourselves. We have to ask our friends in, in Korea to do it. So it takes time. Yeah. They have to understand it's not an easy process, but we, we will do our best to, to satisfy their satisfy their needs. Will this point change? Will you have more rights with Wagner 102 in the future? It's, yeah, I think that we will, anyway, this last few months, uh, we've been improving greatly the relationship with Gravity Korea from a development perspective. They are, okay. they are really understanding the, the, the importance of bringing the local content, so they are more and more, uh, I would say, aware of it. Uh, I think that for Ragnarok 2, we'll have the opportunity to talk more about that in a few months to see if we can be more uh, involved ourselves in the development from European perspective. But today, it's really, it's really uh, important for the Korean people to manage the overall content to avoid, you know, to have games too different from a region to another. So you have some, some the players, and I know it's difficult to understand, but they have to. Uh, to be aware that we, you need a certain consistency in the game when you play in Japan or you play in Germany, you play in France and the US. Therefore, you cannot authorize everything to everyone. At the same time, it doesn't mean that doors are not open to be creative. So we, this is the tuning that you have to find as a publisher versus the developer to make sure that we can, uh, we can deliver what uh, the players want and at the same time staying in the spirit of Ragnarok 2 and Ragnarok 1. As, as soon as we know when things come, to, to communicate that to the players so they, they know that it's coming. And again, I tell you, we have two, two to three years of content that, to, that they will be delighted, plus yes. what they ask for that will add up to the, the overall content. So, so it's, they would like to, to see what we're going live for many more of two years. <laughs> well, at, at least, I, te I can tell you, un unless players at some point say, okay. Fine, you know, Ragnarok one, it's okay, fine, but two now is, is, is what we want to play. It's all right. Players will decide, you know, if players don't want to play our game anymore, either it means that we don't provide what they want, or that at some point they want to, to switch to something new and different, which is, which is fine, which is uh, normal. But uh, we will have a lot of still new things in the Ragnarok one for a long time. So I'm hopeful that they can still play for a long time. Great. One new game coming from a Japanese publisher called uh, uh, Mobcast, which is coming in June, which is called Battle Space, which is an RTS sci-fi uh, um, web-based game, okay. which is quite deep, uh, very interesting, uh, uh, and we know that uh, German German players like a lot this type of game. There is a big community. Sci-fi, yeah. Yeah. So uh, this is one of the game, and I have. Again, we'll, we'll talk more then. This one is, is locked, so I can talk about it. Uh, we'll have more, more to come in the, in the few months. The idea is to, 
develop also our portfolio so that players can have a, a, a various uh, a choice of, of games, knowing that, of course, my, uh, my, uh, my uh, I would say, flagship uh, game is definitely a flagship brand is, is Ragnarok. Okay. I'm looking forward to uh, see this partnership with Rosebot and Gravity Europe. Yeah, looking forward also to, to work with you, Benedict, to, to make sure we can uh, first communicate the players what's happening and also get, more importantly, uh, the players' feedback. I'll be happy to update on a regular basis uh, the players if necessary. So I hope that we'll have the opportunity to, to, to come back to, to this uh, channel more, more often. We also we have, we have planned a lot of, yeah, we have a lot of ideas with uh, Radio 50E and um, we hope we can support you as good as, as possible. I'm, uh, I'm here. I'm here for you guys. <laughs> Great. Okay. Thank you for this interview. Thank you. Thank you for Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. <laughs>